Hello and welcome to Credit B presents RCB Bold Diaries. We heard what the director Mike had to say as we build up to the IPL auction. I now have the head coach with us, Sanjay. Thanks a lot for chatting with us. Just curious, so much cricket happening around the world. A lot of young players making the headlines. Were you not tempted to have a bigger purse going into the auction? Talk to us a little bit about that uh, retention strategy. Uh, no, once we decided uh, the way we wanted to take this team, uh, especially last season and the strategies that we made around it and having uh, had success with that because uh, RCB has had a phenomenal success over the last three seasons. Obviously, we haven't won the championship but uh, we've ended up in the playoffs every single time in the last three years. So, obviously, the systems that have been put in place are working fine and from that perspective, we didn't really want to tinker a lot with our team. What's RCB's uh, strategy going into this particular auction? Is it more to fill up the backup players or are there certain boxes that we want to be ticking? Uh, a combination of uh, everything actually because uh, we have the uh, uh, luxury of uh, seven vacant spaces in the team. So, how we can uh, look ahead and identify a few players who can be of uh, uh, immense value to us going forward. That is one thing that we are thinking of and obviously uh, there are two overseas backup slots. So. Th those are the things that we have been contemplating and making our strategies around. Just in terms of preparing for an IPL auction, you've done it a few times already, you've been around for a while. There's so much of data in the background. As a coach, is there something particularly that you're looking at? Uh, well, we are blessed with the team, uh, like uh, Crickwiz does a fan fantastic job for us. Even our talent scouting team uh, works all year round. So, uh, And the very fact that uh, the, the way the coaching mix is amongst uh, us uh, as, as a coaching group, uh, we have exposures to, exposure to various leagues which helps. So, we actually do not rely a lot on you know just uh, net sessions to identify talent but uh, the system here is that uh, uh, we tend to judge players as to how they've done in uh, T20 tournaments or how they've done in domestic cricket. Uh, the importance attached to that is far more than you know assessing players in net situations. So, we get a fair idea of what to expect from a player and that's where I feel that uh, we have uh, a lot of in-depth analysis and information about the players that we are targeting. And just stepping out of the auction a bit, more so as your role as a coach, how much is this about man management when you're taking charge of an IPL team versus skill set? So what are your conversations more about with the players? Uh, well, this season we have moved into uh, what we call as uh, individual player development and okay which will mean that uh, we are not necessarily uh, looking at players or working with players just during the season but what we have done is that so far we have already met the players thrice and we have a couple of camps lined up which will mean that uh, there is a lot of emphasis on uh, skill development as well. It's not purely uh, restricted to man management and strategy. So, uh, we have a great uh, uh, role to play there in terms of the development of the players and uh, if you look at uh, the kind of players that have gone on to play for the country from our system, uh, you'd be envious because any team would be envious that uh, if you get uh, uh, Rajat Patidar or uh, Shabazz, Shabazz yeah. or for that matter Harshal using this platform to uh, play for the country or Devdat Padikal, we've all gone through the system. So, uh, it clearly shows that uh, we are doing certain things right and KS Bharat is another name that comes to my mind. So, all of them have used the platform really well and uh, you know developed their cricket. And just coming back to the season and the auction itself, we're coming back to the Chinnaswamy. We were talking to Mike about this as well. That must be exciting in itself. As far as our squad readiness for Chinnaswamy is concerned, is there some homework that needs to be done or you're looking to fill some gaps? Uh, more or less, I mean, uh, we have our playing 11 sorted. So, uh, that uh, gives us a lot of confidence because having players who are settled uh, their roles really clearly defined and uh, the exciting part of this season is going to be not only playing at uh, Chinnaswamy which obviously all of us are looking forward to uh, the kind of atmosphere that uh, there is uh, and the kind of backing that RCB has from its uh, fans is phenomenal. Uh, add to that uh, how we are going to uh, use the impact player because that's yeah. one uh, new thing, new addition to this year's IPL. So that's also exciting, it can actually uh, strengthen uh, a lot of teams uh, and can pose challenges, uh, not necessarily uh, during one phase of the game, but uh, I think the, this rule can make the games even more competitive uh, than last season. It just brings a completely different dynamic to the game itself. So, in your preparation for the auction, you're obviously discussing the impact rule in itself and who could fill that slot? 
yeah we have had a couple of discussions around it and uh, i mean it all depends on uh, the venue that we are playing the kind of opposition there is uh, all those things will come into mind and uh, obviously those decisions are going to be taken close to the uh, games uh, actual games being played but yes we've thought through uh, which are the type of players that we can use as an impact player the uh, the effect that it has on team selection so yes uh, we've discussed all that and then one final question um, i was talking to mike about this three playoffs in the last three seasons what's the one thing that's missing for us in going the distance when it comes to the knockout games uh, it's an up curve so uh, that's the positive that yes uh, how we've progressed uh, in the season 13 14 and 15 it's always been like uh, Uh, in 13 and 14 we ended up being number 4 uh, in IPL 15 we were number 3 yeah so uh, you you see that sort of a curve, curve. and uh, you you just uh, have a quiet confidence that things will fall in place but uh, apart from that i don't i can't put a finger on a thing which will say that okay this is one thing that we've identified uh, which is which we have been lacking because we believe that uh, uh, we are playing good good cricket the processes are good and uh, Yeah, uh, it's about uh, players delivering on that particular day. Sanjay, thanks a lot for chatting with us. We wish you the best when you all do get to the table Friday evening. Thanks a lot, and on behalf of all the fans, uh, good luck. Thank you.